Hey, you awesome, wonderful, blessed people, excited people, ignited people. This is your Han Mankies from GFL Ministries. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Well, yes, it's Extension Day, apparently, allegedly. Wimmelsfartsdag. Okay, so apparently the Lord uh, went to heaven um, today. Oh, okay. But anyway, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how they worked that one out. But anyway, I pray they probably worked that one out. I don't know. But anyway, um, so I'm just a bit naughty here. But anyway, so I just want to speak a little bit to encourage you. I want to tell you something. It's great. We need to always celebrate Jesus coming, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. You know, so we celebrate that. It's all good to celebrate that. You know, um, I just don't like the religious idea behind it. You know, you must in whatever you know um and uh, that kind of stuff but uh, let me just tell you something can i tell you something god's best idea wasn't jesus <laughs> what are you saying no 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 let me explain to you god the father son and holy spirit they are one okay so the best idea they ever had was you the best idea they ever had was you. You are that awesome idea that God had. And then, he, and then he said, you know what? That's a great idea. Come on, man. Let's make man in, in our image and our likeness, you know. And so they made man in our image and our likeness. And I want to tell you a, sec a second thing. Can I tell you something about, you know, Adam? We have this idea that uh, Adam messed up. So God had to come in and just sort out everything. And so God had an idea with Adam. And then we just messed up that whole idea with God. Can I tell you something that's very interesting? God's best idea, you know, after you. Because apparently you messed up. Because that idea was just wrong. But anyway, which is not the truth. But anyway, so the idea... Um, that uh, Adam messed up and God was upset and now you need to send Jesus. Can I tell you God's uh, plan A was Jesus. Jesus was not plan B. He was always plan A. Can I tell you that? <laughs> like God didn't know like, ooh, he's, the, the Adam's going to mess up. That was all plan, man. All method into God's madness, man, if you want to call it that. You know, God's not mad. But you know what I'm saying? Because it feels like strange. So I can tell you one thing. That God had a plan, then, you know, he sent the man, which was Jesus. God had a plan, anyway, because he saw you and me being just as he is, so are we in this world. So God had all of this in, in plan. We always have this whole idea, notion that, you know, we're always second, you know. We must be second, you know. We, we are second, you know. God is first and we are second. No, no, God is with us. God is for us you know we walk with god you know so i want to tell you that bible says we well, first seek the kingdom of god and i said yeah okay great to seek the kingdom of god first good god god we put god first no you know what i'm saying god is one with me like jesus prayed and he said lord i pray as we are one that they also be one so we are one so i'm one with the lord you know, so I don't want to go before the Lord. I don't want to be behind the Lord. Anyway, that's just getting a bit sidetracked here. But anyway, in talking about extension and so forth, we had this whole idea. And then Jesus basically, when he, when he died, he rose from the dead. He basically went into heaven. Now, heaven is not another place. The Bible says that he said, and he, and he, he, he he was in, in a cloud, in a cloud. What? The Bible talks about the cloud of witnesses. So a cloud of witnesses came and came with Jesus. But it's not, heaven is not another planet that he goes up there into another place. But I'm telling you that heaven is another realm. It's a realm around us. It's not just a place somewhere when we die, when we meet Jesus. You know, I'm not, I don't need to die to go meet Jesus. I meet Jesus every single day. Come on, people. You know, so. People get this religious idea after die and then see Jesus. Why can't I just live and see Jesus? Okay. So that's one for your books. But anyway, so yeah. So um, people have this idea as well that, um, you know what? We have this far off space between us and the Lord. Now he's like, he extended and he's there. Now we here and he left us behind in the suffering. And no, no, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I send you another helper, which is Holy Spirit to help you, to encourage you. To love you, man, you know, 
to give you a revelation and understanding into man awesome stuff man you know so that is um what jesus truly did for us and and he's not leaving us so those we are with him and like i said he's now we're with him with the at the right hand of the father so think about that i said it the other day. think about that so we actually extended with him he extended and so we also because now we sit with him in the right hand of the father again mystery but we also extended with him and he's also with us because he's, li he's lived and breathed in us you see we're also omnipresent mystery <laughs> mystery <laughs> but it is that it is the way that it is i want to tell you that today i want to explain that to you is that God gave us everything pertaining to life and Godness, spiritually and naturally things. You know, do we go through trials and tribulations and challenges in this world? Oh yes, God knows that's hectic stuff that we go through some stuff. But we go through it, we don't stay it, stay in it. You know, like in John 17, Jesus prayed, I pray you do not take them out of the world, but keep them from the wicked one. Hmm. That's Jesus' prayer. So he's... God is keeping us from the wicked one. We don't have to worry about the devil and the antichrist and all that junk. You know? Why? Great is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Talk about the so-called antichrist, which is a different topic. I don't believe in the antichrist, so get upset with me. But anyway, so, so I want you to understand that today. That God gave us such beautiful stuff and he made us one with him. Even when he accepted, we also accepted with him. Mystery, spiritual, very mystery. I mean, Paul said, you know, from the, uh, you know, uh, I'm with there with you in spirit. Even Paul said, I'm with there in spirit. Again, that's interesting. You know, are they astral traveling or something? Maybe. I don't know. I, I would love to do that kind of stuff. You know, I like that freaky stuff, you know. So, but in saying that, I just want to encourage you and say to you, man, God really gave us all the stuff. And today's Extension Day. I want to say to you, you know what? God is with you. You know, we are with God. We are one with the Lord. And God's best idea was you, you know. And you are not. Adam didn't mess up so badly. That was God's A game. Now you have to send your second B, uh, B game. You know, oh, you messed up my A game. I go. With. No. You were from the beginning, you know. God saw you. That was you. He's, you are the apple of God's eye from the beginning. You know, God didn't look at you any different at all. It was God's master plan from the beginning for Adam to so-called mess up. I want to tell that to you today. I want to tell you that, man, yes, there's sometimes that some things freaks us out because his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts because we don't always comprehend. But we are coming slowly but surely into alignment with God, with his thoughts and his actions and his way. We're getting to learn to understand God more and more. You know, understand the way he thinks and how he acts and, uh, uh, you know, so we can comprehend certain things. But to know God is to spend eternity with God. So it's always going to be something new about God. Always something new, you know. My one friend had a revelation about those angels going around the Father, you know, going continuously around him, you know, every day, every day. And every day they come around him, they say, holy, holy, holy is God of might who was and is and is yet to come. And every time they go around him, they get a new revelation and understanding of who he is. And they go around and now, oh, holy, holy. Oh, there's some, no more revelation about God. They go around and we, oh, there's something beautiful more about God. And oh, they're more beautiful. So I want to say to you, and that's how we have revelation about God. You know, I want to say to you that God also loves you. And he wants to also you to have revelation about yourself, how awesome you are. How also how you made you to be, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, social, financially, emotionally, to the full, to the overflows. Man, God wants you to have a relation about this natural realm, the spiritual realm, the soul realm, whatever. God is in all things because God fills all things, you know, not just some things, not just good things. God fills all things. You used to think God is not an anti, uh, 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 you know, an atheist or a Muslim. God is in all people. He fills all in all, spiritual, natural, whatever. Do you think God is not uh, in, in a plant or an animal or you think God is not on, on a guy that, that committed murder or rape and stuff? God is also in him, believe it or not. It just freaks you out. Wow, what do you mean? God fills all in all. So I want to tell you with extension that God filled you with power. He filled you with glory, man. 
You are more than a conqueror. You know, yes, things might come against you, but great is he that's in you, is in this world. And I want to say that to you and encourage you today about God's goodness in our lives. You know, so guys, enjoy this day. You know, praise God for his death, burial, and resurrection and his extension go moving to the new realm. He just moved that spiritual realm like Elijah and Moses, the, uh, the Mount of Transfiguration. It just went another realm, you know. That's the same what Jesus did. And the cloud came, the people, cloud of witness came, and they just, they all took him in, and they was whoo, awesome. But you're also there. <laughs> Mystery. Anyway, so um, get distracted with stuff and stuff and stuff. Please forgive me. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just want to say you be blessed, man. And uh, give me some feedback. You know, like I said, please don't get upset with me if you don't agree with me. But the stuff I'm saying is scripture. It might not like it. And I'm telling you, I don't always fully comprehend it. But I take it and say, God, that's a, that's good, man. Uh, that's good stuff, this. This is brilliant stuff. I'll take it. till I take it by faith till revelation come. I take it by faith. I don't fully comprehend But till revelation come. You know? But in saying this, I want to tell you that, man... God brought you into a relationship between Him, the Father, and Holy Spirit. Man, you are in that relationship, man. Don't let things deceive you, or don't let, don't let, don't be so sin conscious. Okay, your sin is is not yours anymore. It's been bought with a price, you know. Okay, so I just want to tell you that. Okay, don't try not to do wrong, man. Just be awesome and great how God made you to be. And in that you'll make mistakes and do stupid stuff, but your heart is sold out to Jesus. So I want to just speak that into your life. I want to declare God's goodness of your life to the full till it overflows in Jesus' name. Now, yo, forgive me if I went a bit off left, right, and center and whatever. But I just want to just encourage you and say, come on, you are a spiritual being. You are a natural being. You are a soul being. All one in Christ. You know, we are here, but yet we are there. That's amazing stuff. You know, so just know that. And uh, I want to say you guys love you, bless you. And uh, let me know if there's any prayer I can send out to you to, to bring him to your body. So what else you want to, you know, while I was do it now, just put a hand on wherever you're sick now, put your hand there. Put your hand there. So Lord, I declare, Father, I declare over this person right now, healing. 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 I declare, there we go. Healing for you. There we go. He no eggs. No uh, There we go. Cancer gone. There we go. That gone. That thing gone. Uh, ask better. Uh, back pain. There we go. Uh, there we go. That issue there. No, there we go. Thank you, Father. E, they are well. They are shalom. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Whole complete in every area of their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare it over them. Guys, love you, man. Bless you. Give me some feedback. And uh, yeah, again, this is your hand making from GFR Ministries saying, Sayonara, I'll be the same. Moi blay. To my saint, Man, I'll see you when I see you. And uh, man, you are brave people, man. Brave people, full of God. So anointing God's power. Love you guys. Bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.